This is the entry of my home, and when you walk in, you are faced with, year round, a 10 foot tall mirror. This year, when we remodeled and went with a beach inspired look, I had it cased in a nice big 8 inch thick casement wood all the way around. Gave it a little bit more of an authentic, I don't know, ship look or something. But what I have here is a vase that I've had for a number of years, and this stays in my entry all the time. It's normally filled with Princess Anne greens, twigs, and branches from a tree, and it's set in resin so it looks like it's in water year round. So what I do here for this time of year is I take the twigs that have the ice and the snow on them, and I stick them in there, just filling it up and making it beefier, but bringing it up to speed with the rest of the decor in my home, which has that ice-covered winter wonderland look to it. But in the daytime, the light streams right in on this and on this resin water, and it's so pretty. It looks just so natural, like you went through the woods and you you tore off some apple branches and stuck them in a beautiful tall glass vase that you just happen to have hanging around. That's what I did, pretty much. Actually, it went into a shopping cart and then got here. Here's where I put my Wiseman. I showed you a little bit earlier my nativity scene where I separated Mary and Joseph from the shepherds. And out here, I have the Wiseman. They're in the entry next to the mirror because they're so glitzy and glam. I'm thinking they're probably gonna wanna look at themselves. That's not true. Another thing about the Bible story of Jesus' birth, you'll know that the shepherds and the wise men were never together, although all of our nativity scenes show it that way. So I decided, well, I'm gonna make this really, since we're going so natural and authentic, this is a little more authentic. So here they are, worshiping the baby Jesus and bringing their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I also have this beautiful staircase banister, which I've shown you in video number three. So I didn't want to compete with that and by putting too much here. And then these are just great topiary trees I bought years ago, and I've used them in so many different ways throughout the holidays. It's a cool thing that I did. Instead of getting all, you know, glitzy with them, I decided to do something very subtle and drop this very large diamond. Isn't that cool? From the very center, and it just drops, and you have to be at just the right spot when you're walking around to catch it. It's not that obvious. People say when they see it, Rebecca, what's your diamond ring doing in the tree? And I say, I'm loaning it for the season. Actually, I say, honey, go look at that. You need to see what a diamond ring really looks like. I don't know if, you're, uh, if the camera picks up the iridescence. It's actually very pretty. It's just such a simple thing to do. Get a bowl with a base on the bottom of it, put some balls in it, and whatever kind of little thing you want to add to it. For me, it was a uh, snowflake. So yeah, it's that simple. Hundred thousand views, a couple hundred thousand views with uh, a bowl with some balls in it. So if you want to start your own YouTube channel and be successful, start with a bowl and put some balls. In it. I am dying to see what you've done and the ideas that you have because I could learn a lot from you as well. Would you please create a video response? Don't worry, I'm not going to judge you. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh my God. I'm not going to do that. I think there's a lot of people who'd be interested in knowing what are some of the other ideas that you can use in your home. Please. Post a video response below, and at the very least, leave a comment and let me know. And always, always leave a thumbs up. In YouTube, it matters. Leave a thumbs up below if you like this video series, or even this video, even if you just like this outfit. Even if you just like the fact that I have a television. That should get them in, right? Yeah. Leave a thumbs up for the TV. Notice that it's off. Hanging snowflakes at various heights idea is something I thought of a few years ago and I've perfected it over time. For example, I originally hung them with clear nylon thread, but I found simple off-white sewing thread is sturdy enough and has no reflective quality, allowing the snowflakes to appear as if they're free falling from the sky. I've hung them from so many different places, from the ceiling of my entryway, my powder room, over the sink in the kitchen, which leads right into a garden window, as well as over the top of my tree. Each year, either before Christmas or after Christmas while they're on sale, I've added to my collection. My snowflakes have come from wholesale floral supply stores, craft stores, vintage stores, and even restoration hardware. 
I've even gone from using small nails to what I now use, which is a T-pin. They're available at any sewing store. The holes left behind are insignificant and don't need repairing after they come down. This year I added another little element by painting the tops of the pins the ceiling color to minimize their point of origin. Perhaps the best improvement I made was this year when I decided to have one of my employees climb the 8-foot ladder and install all of them for me. I just point and direct, which is really my gift anyway. Of all the things I've done for Christmas this year to decorate my home, I have to say the hanging snowflakes are probably one of my favorite things. And it's really so beautiful and so magical. It makes me feel like Christmas, like I'm in a winter wonderland, which is, I guess, what I was going for. I do hope that you have been inspired and that you've been able to do some things that somehow, through my ideas and the things I've done in my own home, you will go away more excited about decorating than you ever have. I can tell you this, it makes a difference in your own attitude and it makes a huge difference in the attitude of your friends and your family particularly. Merry Christmas from Ropes and Design.